Hey, my lovely Willow Vibes tribe members. I'm Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes, and it's really dark in here, isn't it? I hope all of you are doing well. Of course, this thing ain't gonna do what I want, but whatever it is, what it is. I don't know why it's showing up. Maybe it's just my own eyes, whatever. It'll probably be fine when I look back on it. Everything is fine when I look back on it. Somebody's reflecting is what I'm feeling. Oh, this is a <laughs> this is a love reading for the sign of Virgo. I don't know if I said that or not. Um, I feel like I'm repeating myself even if I'm not. So somebody might be looking back on a situation between the two of you. Either you're doing this or your love interest is, and it's like, did I? Did I? I thought I told you how I felt. Did I? Maybe I didn't. Um, so somebody's questioning things like someone might even be reviewing old texts or messages, emails, whatever between the two of you to double check. Like, I thought I said that, like, um, I guess my best advice with that is for whoever's reflecting, if you, even if you think you said something already, it can't hurt to say it again. You know what I mean? Um, make somebody's day and tell them that you love them because I kind of feel that's where we're going like I feel like I expressed myself or I I shared my feelings to some extent was it well received was it taken right or wrong there could be a miscommunication here like like I don't know I'm scratching my head like hmm I think I could have swore I was gonna say I could have swore I told Scorpio how I felt could be dealing with a Scorpio, not necessarily. I just did Scorpio's bonus reading for the second time um, because the first one I just felt it fell off. I, it was almost like I had to go back and redo it. I have to go back and redo something. So if you're dealing with a Scorpio, either that's what they're doing or that's what you're doing with one or about one because I feel like I need to revise the situation. Um, I need to go back and, and double check a few things because I... I I don't know where I, where did I go wrong is what I feel here. So let's either you or your person. So please like, 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 comment, share, and subscribe. Stick around. I really hope you do stay. I would love it if you would. Um, if you'd like a personal reading, I do have openings. The info's in the box below. Just email me and I'll give you all the information you need. Thank you to everyone who has purchased personal readings. I am all caught up with them. So I am wide open, baby. Um... And thank you to everyone who has donated to my channel, big or small, or by any means, cash at Venmo, PayPal, or joining me over on Patreon, which really helps this channel. It helps keep me going. Um, it's any denomination, so I totally leave the pricing up to you. Um, you can do $20, $10, $5, increase it, decrease it at any time, and you can cancel at any time, so it's no obligation to you, and it helps me out tremendously. Um, I did po post the weekly energy. I missed a week, but I did uh, post one recently. I posted on the community tab as well. So if you just want to see a thumbnail of that, the link to go over there is on the community tab under that post, but it's also in the box below. Anyways, so let's kind of see where we're headed. What is going on here? I'm I'm going to pull one of my millennial cards first just to see who, who you're dealing with or what's going on with you. Um, hopefully these readings don't get cut off. I just heard it won't, so let's pray for the best because both of Scorpio's bonus readings got cut off at the end, but they'll be continued. So if you watch that and you're like, what's going to happen next um, during this cycle the series of readings for each zodiac sign i was told it will be continued in that so that's what spirit said apparently they just wanted to give you just enough information it was pretty long anyways and i think i am going to post the one that i was like eh, about um i don't know if i'm going to post it on youtube or if i'm going to post it on patreon some some people get mad when if they see two bonus readings for one sign it's like you haven't even done my sign and that's just because i was prompted to do a different one and i wasn't sure if i was going to post it but we have the barista zero which is similar to um 
it's really driving me nuts at how dark this looks on my end. This is similar to The Fool. It's like, you know what I'm thinking of looking at this card? It's starting a new job. Some of you might be starting new jobs or your person is. I just feel like I'm venturing out and trying new things, whether it's career related. Most of you it probably is. Um, if it's a side gig or just a hobby of yours, like trying to figure out where, where, where your talents lie. Like, <coughs> excuse me, what am I really good at? you know, or something that you are very good at. It's like, now I want to um, start doing that. I want to make time for the fun things, for the things that I find fun. And I kind of feel like whatever you are interested in, your love interest is interested in very similar things. I heard the paranormal and I got that in Scorpio's read too. Um, <clears throat> that just could be a hobby or an interest. I feel like you watch a lot of shows about death. Um, or the afterlife, I should say, paranormal activity, you know, um, aliens, conspiracy theories. I'm, I'm getting a lot of history, history in the making, I just heard. So I, this connection could be history in the making. You guys are going to make history. Um, there's a lot of history between you and this person. You've known them for a very long time. I feel like you've, you've been in and out of touch with whoever this is over the course of your life um so it's not like like if you grew up with them and you've known this person since you were a young child I feel like you didn't stay in contact the entire time like there are lulls like where you go years without speaking and there's a reconnection here and I kind of feel like after the reconnect it was kind of on and off communication and now it's like I don't want this hot and cold on and off crap anymore I I need to smarten up I need to change my ways and I want to I want to be more consistent with this person because I feel like you are waking up to your feelings for someone or your person's waking up to their feelings for you and it's like I want to revitalize you want to revive this connection is what I'm feeling you didn't date this person before but I feel like there's a spark there and I kind of want to see where this could take me or take us um I want to try something new. This person is not your usual type. I feel like they just, they don't fit in the cookie cutter box of the types of people that you have dated before. They're very different. Um, and I feel like that's kind of why it was a little scary or you're different. That's why it was scary to them. If I say he, it could be she. If I say you, it could be them. Flip flop, vice versa. Sit down wherever you fit in. If you don't fit in, stand the fuck up and get the hell out. Maybe next time, you know, don't ever make a reading fit you'll know pretty like within the first five minutes of a reading normally if the reading's for you or not. Um, I just feel like I want to take a chance on you. I want to take a chance on somebody and this is very out of character. It's out of the norm, but you've thought a lot about this or this person has thought a lot about coming towards you. For some reason, Virgo, for this message, I kind of feel like you're the one that needs to take charge in this situation or there is a Virgo involved who or someone who has heavy Virgo in their chart who is going to initiate communication, initiate forward movement. Um, get the ball rolling, take a risk. It's a calculated risk. So whoever's doing this, you or this person, you're not being foolish. Um, but I almost feel like, am I too late? No, you're not too late. You're never too late. You're never, it's, you're never too late to try, try, try again. And I kind of feel like you'll be pleasantly surprised if you reach out to this person because they're anticipating communicating with you or you're anticipating this communication. So cross watch a Virgo does want to hear from you if the roles are reversed. Um, but I'm going to read what it says on the back of the card and it says qualities, authentic, hipster, uh, pierced, well tipped. I feel like the person that you're dealing with, they work based off commission. So they, whatever their career is or yours, but I kind of feel like this is your love interest. Um, their livelihood relies on tips, basically. So, you know, like hairdressers, yeah, you have your set price amount, but the hairdresser actually makes more money off from tips. Or a barista, a bartender, um, hell, what I'm doing right now, YouTube, you know, you guys purchase my services. So it's customer based basically um this person's very authentic they're true to themselves and they don't care what other people think of them or that's how you are i kind of feel like that's them and 
you're starting to take notes like hmm life would be so much simpler if I told people to F off if I was like you know I don't care about your opinion Betty Sue um, I'm going to do it anyways because it makes me happy and you know I want to talk to so-and-so I want to move forward with so-and-so because they make me happy they make me smile and you don't um, you know this is my life and I want and I'm gonna live it the way that I want to live it because why not you know I'm the only one holding myself back right now there's nothing standing in my way there are some people who are problematic that could be a mutual friend um, between you and your love interest who and if it's if it's not a mutual friend there's just someone coming between you and this person or they have been for a while because I feel gossip some chitter chatter and it's all misinformation so don't listen to what other people have to say about anyone because that same person who is spreading hate and discontent and lies about your love interest they're spreading lies and bullshit about you too um, whenever people gossip just know that if they're telling you about other people rest assured they will share your shit with everyone else and they will twist um the story to fit their narrative and that's what this person does and it's very problematic and i feel like that is um, a major hang up between you and your love interest so that needs that person needs to go and i kind of feel like you're realizing that or your person is someone's realizing who their friends are and who their foes are you know it says authenticity and with uh, being authentic and your love interest being their authentic selves and not really caring what other people think, they're just living their life, doing what they feel is best for them, um, for their, you know, positive forward movement. Like I said, you're taking notes off from this person so that you're kind of mimicking them and, and doing what's best for you as well. This person is a true blue type person. They probably have blue eyes as well. If they do, I come kind of feeling a darker blue, maybe similar to mine, my eyes, because mine are like a gray blue, but it's not really light light. It's just, it's on the darker spectrum if they have blue eyes and there's a, someone with brown eyes, could be you, could be flip flop. But this person is a true blue, meaning they are are true to themselves and they they're true to their word so if this person makes a promise to you rest assured that it will be kept if they tell you that they love you they mean it this person is not a liar but there are liars around this person and around you or between the two of you who is making others believe that this person is false when they're not and that happens a lot of the times because these phony balonies aren't moving forward um, in, a, in a positive direction. Their, their life is crap. And it's like, well, if my life sucks, I want everybody else's to suck too because, you know, I'm envious. Um, so I kind of feel like whoever you're dealing with, Virgo, is very successful or they're um, climbing the ladder. They're on, they're on their way to being extremely popular. I was going to say extremely successful. So this person gets a lot of attention. They, they could have a lot of suitors, a lot of options. I don't really feel like they're entertaining these options, but they could, um, especially when warmer weather hits because I kind of feel like mid-spring is when this person's going to be like, screw it, I'm going on a date, um, especially if they've been waiting on you. They're going to stop. So... I feel like spirit saying, move, 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 get your ass motivated, say something so that you don't lose this opportunity or that's what your person needs to do with you. But I'm kind of feeling there's, there's a group of Virgos out there that have been kind of sitting on this, this situation for a minute and just leaving somebody on hold, like, hang on, hold the phone. Um, I'll be right back, but it's like when someone tells you to hold on and you're listening to them do a bunch of shit and they, it, an hour later, they finally pick up the phone. But when, when you pick up the phone, you're like, Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I, I, I left you on hold. I totally forgot. Cause I got so busy. The person's not even there. Cause I hung up. They were sick of waiting. I'm kind of feeling that energy here. So I almost feel like you put this person on hold Virgo, or they put you on hold and whoever was put on hold is like, I'm not waiting anymore. Um, I have a life to live and it waits for nobody, you know? So I feel like let's get going. Let's get the ball rolling. I do feel like action is going to be taken. So your person, you're dealing with someone who is very authentic. They're true to themselves and they're true to their word is what I'm feeling. Authenticity and resistance to sell out is felt by patrons of your latte art. 
is fear of losing your tattooed identity to establishment preventing your chance to caffeinate the world. It's like the fear of losing your identity, your sense of self. Is that preventing you from sharing your gifts with the world, no matter what your gifts are, your talents. Um, basically, if I, I almost feel like when we're talking about business or even love, but we're talking about entrepreneurship or a new endeavor that you can um, start up, whether this is for you or your love interest, I almost feel like, I feel like this is a message for you, Virgo. You might fear losing yourself in this connection. Like, I want to maintain my identity. You know, I've worked very hard to get to where I'm at, um, to find myself and figure out who I am. And I, I don't want to have what happened in the past happen with this person because you guys are very different. Like I said, this person is not your normal type. Um, you don't really know what to expect from this person because they are very different. You're, you're used to a certain kind of person and I feel like that, that kind of person you're used to is very selfish and needy and codependent and you're trying to pull away from that and I almost feel like I'm talking to somebody who does lose, lose themselves in a connection. It's almost like when I'm in a relationship everything else fades away and it's just you and I and I lose myself and I forget who I am and what I'm supposed to be doing when I'm with, when I'm in a relationship. So there's kind of a fear here. Like I can't lose my identity. I can't lose myself again. I just found myself. Um, you're not going to lose yourself within this person. I feel like this person has healthy boundaries, which, and they're not codependent. So they're going to encourage you to continue to um, work on yourself um, and they're going to help you move in a more positive direction. They're going to help you attain your goals. They're going to push you to do that um, whether you need help or not. I just feel like this person is very helpful and they're very caring and the last thing that they would want for you is for you to feel that way or to feel lost, to feel lost, to feel lonely, to feel like... Um, like you need them. They don't want you to need them and you don't want them to need you. I mean, some of you might like that um, because you are used to codependent people and people needing you. So it's kind of a security blanket, but that's not, and that might be what's scaring you with this person because they don't need you, but they want you. And I feel like that's going to keep the love alive a lot longer than um, dealing with somebody who's needy because that just weighs you down and it causes conflict. I just feel like this is going to be like a breath of fresh air and the independence that you're feeling now, you will maintain that sense of independence within this connection. So it's, it's not as scary as it seems. It's almost like your first day of work, you know, when you got the jitters and it's like, I don't know anyone. What if I fuck up? Um, but after your first day and you meet these people and you kind of find your place, you're like, oh, that wasn't that bad. I'm good. That's kind of what this connection is going to be. It's like you got to take the first step to figure it out. Um, and I feel like you want to, and I feel like you're going to move towards this person. You got to start somewhere and you're going to take this leap of faith, this risk. And it's not really that much of a risk. All right, so I'm going to get a moon card for the mutual energy. That was more of a personal message for, for my Virgos or cross watcher, whoever it resonates with. Balance, spirituality, and practicality is what's going on between the two of you. I feel like you're dealing with somebody who's very spiritual. I mean, you could be the spiritual one and they might be learning, but I kind of feel like both of you are very spiritual, but one of you is um, a higher vibration. Maybe they practice their spirituality more. Um, I almost feel like they're teaching you a, a, a new faith. Um, so there could be a religious difference here, but I feel like the interest is the same. Like there's a paranormal connection here. There just is. There's something to do with death that ties the two of you together. Um, maybe you're dealing with a psychic medium and they've spoken to, um, someone that's crossed over on like within your family or a friend of yours and that's the connection I or it could be vice versa I just feel like death is tying you two together for some for some reason but 
you guys need, I, <laughs> it's just really funny, especially if you're dealing with Scorpio, because they're very spiritual. I mean, a water sign in general, but when it says balance, spirituality, and practicality, Virgo, I feel like you're the practical one. You're all about the coin, and I'm not calling you materialistic or anything. It's just you take a practical approach to life, to love, to everything. You're an earth sign. It's very natural. That's just you're grounded and rooted. And when you don't feel grounded, you don't feel stable and secure, especially financially, you're kind of like, whoa, my life's out of whack. You know, I got to fix this before I can move forward. I do feel like you're doing better financially. So you're ready to move forward now. And you weren't prior, which is probably another major reason why you haven't connected fully with this person. But I feel like they're more spiritually. I feel like they feel, I feel like you both feel the spiritual connection between one another. But I feel like they might have initiated it or brought it to your attention because you're dealing with someone who's who's very very spiritual and you are more of um, the earthly element you know you're more practical so it's like okay I feel the connection with you I, I understand the spiritual aspect of this like the twin flame the strong soul connection I feel like you're saying this or thinking this like yes I feel it too but how can we bring this into our reality how can how can we make this work realistically speaking? Um, that's kind of what's going on. That's the battle between the two of you. Yes, we should be together. Yes, the love is there. But how do we make this work? How do we bring this to fruition? Ultimately, you guys are trying to figure out that sweet spot between the two of you. I'm going to get you a Mouthy Bastards couple edition card for the mutual energy, please. Spirit between Virgo and the lover. I do feel like you guys will balance each other out very well. And I do feel like you want to take a risk on this person because you do feel that spark. You want to see where this could go. But there is a tinge of fear here on one or both sides. Um, I feel like whoever you're dealing with thinks that you're gone, that you don't like them, that you're not interested. So you might want to speak up. I mean, it could be vice versa. You're on the same team. Play like it. You guys are supposed to be together. I feel like you might feel like you're working against each other right now. And that's why we need to find this sense of balance. It's 